Hi, I am Kellen George, representing the Commonwealth of Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. Today, I would like to address the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Roosevelt Skerritt. In August this year, Dominica experienced firsthand the effects of global climate change due to the passage of tropical storm Erica. Ten inches of rain fell over a six-hour period. According to the CUOPM 2015, many rivers on the island crested and caused flooding, extensively damaging infrastructure, communities, and homes all across the island. Many lives were lost and residents were displaced from the areas they called home. Early estimates suggest that 371 homes were destroyed, 11 persons were reported missing, and 21 were reported dead. Utility services were also interrupted, and access into the country had to be shut down for one month. The only access into the country, wait, utility services were also interrupted, and the main airport had to be shut down for one month. The only access into the country was via seaports. Many citizens, including myself, who were witnesses to the destruction, could not fathom how all this occurred. As we are the nature island of the Caribbean, we are accustomed to high levels of rain with little to no physical damage. We had not previously experienced tropical storm effects such as high winds and were not placed under tropical storm watch or warning. This event came as a shock to many, if not all. The government of the Commonwealth of Dominica has recognized climate change as an issue requiring our attention and participation. As such, it has ratified the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in 1994. In October 2001, Dominica established its initial national communication which dictates the government's efforts in compliance with Article 12 of the UNFCCC. This was followed by a second national communication in 2012. The Commonwealth of Dominica has enforced regulations for the benefit of the environment. As a nature island of the Caribbean, the Commonwealth of Dominica has accepted the occurrence of climate change and is taking a positive stance on combating it. I strongly encourage each and every citizen and inhabitant of the island to engage in environmental cleanup activities. This includes keeping your direct environment clean. The management of waste should also be increased at the community level. I think we should develop recycling programs that would prove to be a direct benefit to our environment. It is in our best interest as citizens of the Nature Island to keep our environment clean and green. Thank you.